Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geekerhead, I am Penge and it's time for a little bit more foundation. And look, I've come all the way over here onto this hill to come and look at Cupboard Town from afar. It looks really, really cool, look at that, it looks tremendous. And it's got that lovely kind of blur feature. If I just go ever so slightly far out, it obviously focuses on these trees here and everything in the background looks kind of all blurred. I mean, if we even do an increase of speed, you can see stuff happening. I was hoping the windmills might turn around a little bit, but never mind. So yeah, it's looking very good. However, there are a few things we need to look at because my plan over here to set up a new kind of centre has failed. It has failed somewhat spectacularly and people are leaving due to unhappiness. So there's a lack of berries. There is a distinct lack of berries going on and this is very, very bad. This is not helping. So minus 25 and counting. Could not find bread is minus 13.26 and seems to be fairly constant. But yeah, berries. A quarter of our unhappiness is due to a lack of berries. I mean, they must really love berries. <laughs> These villagers in Cupboard Town absolutely love their berries. So, we need to get ourselves more berries. So there's a thing up here. There's a thing just here. Who are you? Are you a trader or something? What are you doing going all the way up there? Are you gathering berries? Oh no, you're the leaving villager. Ah, you're the one who's departing. Oh, okay, well, wow. <laughs> Enjoy that trip. Good grief. Okay, uh, you go along the path and up there and out. Okay, yeah, you kind of go to just here and then you leap off. <laughs> oh dear, don't do that. There's always a better way. Do not leap off the cliff, my good man. Come back, come back. I'll find you some berries. So, just here, we need to get ourselves some berries from this. This is going to be key. Another thing I do need to check, people said, oh, you need to do your zone to sort out your stone camp things. They've not got extraction next to them. I think that should be fine for that stone camp. And I think this one here should be okay. It's within a big blue zone. There, look. So, you know, it, it, it's zoned. That's fine. That's okay. And the original one is zoned. It's got a little sort of bit there. So that's zoned. And um, someone else did say in the comments, and again, thank you for comments, keep them coming, said they're not building there because you've not got residential set. But I have, look, I've got very much a great big blob of residential set right there. It goes all the way out there, all the way around here. So, uh, yeah, I don't quite know what the issue is with that. But okay, right, our berries are creeping back up, actually. The berries are going back up, which is very, very good. Now, one thing we could do, and it's a very, very astute point that somebody did make in the comments was... They, they said, you keep maxing out your money. And that's true. I keep ending up on 700 gold. Or monies or whatever it is. I assume it's gold. Yes, gold. 700 gold. And um, I've just been buying tiles because I've been thinking, oh, I've got nothing else to do with it. But what I could do is, I could trade it, couldn't I? So the plan now is, let's come out of that view for a little while. Over here. Possibly just here. We're going to build ourselves another manor house. But we're going to build quite a big manor house. And it's going to have many, many treasury bits on. Because the treasury allows you to have 200 extra gold. So it gives you 200 capacity extra. So if we build, say, four of those on, that gives us 800 more gold capacity. So we'll have 1,500 gold, which would be very, very cool indeed. Do you know what? We could just call it the treasury. We could just build a treasury just here, say, next to the tailors, whatever it is, the weaver's hut. We could just put a treasury just there. That actually sounds like quite a cool plan. So here we go. Let's set that up. So yeah, it'd be a Lord Manor. It's not actually a Lord Manor thing, but a Lord Manor core. So we need the middle bit. We need that to go in. Are we going to stamp on that decorative tree? I think we might have to. Okay, so let's put that there. And then, right, can we, how high can we raise that? Okay, that just looks a bit weird, doesn't it? That just looks a bit silly up there. I do think the height thing is a bit strange. <laughs> Look at it. Why would you ever need a building that big? We. <laughs> we okay well, that's just a bit crazy no let's not have it that high let's put it to about there say in fact no it doesn't need to be that big there like that and then we might want another one of those snapping onto the back auto saving little bit of lag yeah let's put that there so that snaps to it and then make that roughly the same height yeah, okay, so there's two bits there. Uh, it needs a door. Let's pop a door on just there. That's absolutely fine. The door's got a big red thing in it. <laughs> what is this? Okay, I don't know what the red thing is on the door. I'm not entirely sure. And then we can just fit ourselves, say, four treasuries around the side. And this could just be our, our main treasury area. So we'll have one, and then we'll have another one on there. If we push it in like that, one just there. Let's have one just, oh, it's not quite working how I want it. Just there. And the last one just hit. It just works. Yep, come on. There we go. Splendid. 
So we've got four treasuries in. That kind of is all mirrored yet. Yeah, that looks lovely. Do we want anything else whilst we're here? Treasuries, doors, chimneys. Doesn't really do anything else, does it, those things? We don't get anything else from those at the minute. In the full version of the game, it will make a difference. But this bit does not. No. Okay, well, let's put a couple of decorative trees out the front. Why not? Let's do that. Let's make it look slightly more appealing. And um, a fountain. Because reasons. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm putting a fountain on, but I want one. So there we go. It's got a fountain. So the treasury is built. Now, if I just confirm that, it's all fine. Now, we're going to need 47 tools. We've got 10 at the minute. That's not very many. So let's start construction of that. That's absolutely fine. So people are going to bring loads of stuff over. That's very good. Wow. There's loads of people bringing things in. So the thing we're lacking is tools. So we are going to need to sort that out. Okay, so Davenport does sell tools. This is where we generally buy them from. So you get, I think it means, that means one. I assume that means one tool is for 30 gold. So for 10 tools, we're going to pay 300 gold. So how about we up that then? How about we get 15 tools? How many do they need in total? 47. Oh, that's going to be annoying if I get three lots. Okay, let's buy 16 tools then. Let's do that. 16 tools. Hopefully when the traders come round, they shall start doing that. And eventually we'll have all that sorted. People are upgrading their houses. Okay, happiness is going back up. The berry issue appears to have gone away a little bit. Now, bread is a problem. Bread is an issue. And the plan with this is, if we get the treasury done, we can then fill up our coffers with lots of lovely shiny gold. And then we can go and buy bread from these places. So that place is selling bread. Uh, one bread for 50 gold. It can't just be one. It can't be one bread for 50 gold. That is extortionate. That is the most expensive bread in the world. I'd expect bread for 50 gold. It even looks like bars. 50 gold bars. Yeah, I'd expect bread that I paid 50 gold bars for to be delivered to me on some sort of magical platter uh, by angels who sing some sort of holy chorus as they feed it to me. That's what I would expect for bread that costs 50 gold bars. Good grief. Um... We are buying berries. They're buying stone. That place is buying stone. Could we sell them some stone? Uh, one stone is for two gold. So we could, in theory, sell... Because we're selling some planks. Why don't we sell 25... Let's sell whatever. 30 stone to them. That's at least something. We've got loads of stone. We've got so much stone going on. So that's fine. We'll do that. Um, another thing we do need to do. I think we need another farm. I think we need another farm because we don't have enough wheat. We just don't have enough wheat going on. So this farm here will provide some wheat very, very soon. How much wheat is in these? So there's nothing in there. That windmill is is windmilling nothing. Uh, that one is doing a little bit of work. And that one's doing nothing. So Julien is actually doing something. And all the other people are not. So uh, John... Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on a minute. All the people who work in the windmills have names that begin with J. So Je, Jean, Jean, I don't know how you say that. Jeannie. I don't know. Uh, Julien and John. <laughs> okay, the windmill crew. Oh, hang on. There's another windmill down here. There's two. Who works in here? Oh, female 1328 and Charles. <laughs> oh, they've ruined it a little bit. Okay, never mind. Right, so that is going on quite well. We are going to come to the tools issue, won't we? We're going to run out of tools at some point. Okay, so that's going to take a little while to get done. Let's just up the priority of that. That's fine. Uh, so, yeah, we've got enough of everything else. We've got enough stone. We've got enough planks. The tools are going to let us down. I imagine in the full version of the game, we will have the option to, to make our own tools. Because that's the kind of killer at the minute. We can't make our own tools. So we have to keep trading and buying them in. Maybe that's part of the design. Maybe until very much later in the game, you can't do that. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, right. Berries seems to have sorted itself out a little bit. Uh, there's still a bit of an issue, but it's gone down from 25, a loss for happiness, down to 5, which is pretty, pretty good. So bread is now the issue. So yes, I think we need another farm. I think we need another farm. Where can we put another farm? How about here? Another farm up here. Oh, is that the trader? That's the trader. Okay, yeah, let's get a farm kind of over here. I wanted to clear these trees a little bit. Unless we put that there. I want these trees gone. Can we, can we get rid of these trees just here? That'd be really useful. Where else have we got a lot of space that we could put a farm? Well, kind of here. On the other side of this. Because that is all designated farm territory. Why don't we just put another farm that side. And see if they fill that space in. There's a good plan. Right. Farm. 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 That also needs tools. Doesn't it? it needs 10 tools to complete. Okay. Fine. Uh, there's the front. I believe is the longer bit. Yep. So that's the front. So if we put that there. Oh no. We can't put it there. 
can't put it there for... Ah, it's on a hill. Is that why? Is the hill an issue? So if we put that, say, there, that's not in the way of the paths, which is good, and it's going to make use of the farm field, which is already zoned out. And in fact, we could possibly... Ooh, that's a bit big. Shrink that a little bit. Bring that round a bit more like that, look. Now... That's quite good. I like that. Yeah, let's do that. And that land in the middle is very, very fertile. So that's quite cool. Yeah, I don't know why those guys don't build behind the farm. These guys seem to build all round the farm. Look, they build in a big circle kind of all round it. These guys, are, I don't know why. They don't go out the back. They don't go out the back of the farm. It's a bit annoying. Okay, let's just drag that round like that. Up that to there. See if they build into there. And yeah, I want these trees down as well. I'd love it if someone knocked these trees down. Can we actually request a tree knock down or something? No, you can't click on the trees to actually make them do it. Uh, okay, well, a treasury has been built. They've constructed one treasury, so that's pretty good. Again, nobody moving in over here. No houses, even though it's fairly desirable. In terms of the bright green colour, it's fairly desirable. And if we put on the... Um, the Where is it? Uh, that one, the development zones overlay. Yeah, there's an exclusion in the middle... Which is fine, but you know, here should be fine for a house, and all round here should be fine for houses. So, um, yeah, we'll see what difference that makes when the treasury is done. Um, hopefully, hopefully, people will start moving in, and this will become a little bit more populous. Ah, there we go, more wheat coming in this farm here. Oh, now they start spreading down here. Now they start building down here. You only went about there before. Oh, now you're working it. Okay, fine, we'll have another farm. That's fine, we'll get that done. We shall get ourselves much in the way of wheat. Just because I had some money burning a hole in my pocket, I've bought this plot of land here and I just expanded that little bit of residential space out, just out the back here. So I think a few people might move in around here because you're near this bit here. There's the markets over here. That's going to be quite popular. If we put another market over here, the clothing market, that's also going to be quite popular. So yeah, maybe a few houses will appear down here. Now, houses might have stopped currently being built, in fact, because we've not got people moving in. We're not kind of enabling immigration. So maybe... The reason there's no houses being built over here is because simply there's nobody to live in them. Everybody has a house. Everybody currently has a home, which probably makes a lot of sense, actually. So just here, if we need more berries, let's sort this out first. We're at the Lord Manor's house is finished and our treasury has gone up to 1500. Right. What has that done to the desirability bit over here? Yeah, look, that's now that's very much that's very desirable to live around here. So, yeah, and the farm's complete. Splendid. Right, I don't think we've got anybody... Can people work in there? Oh, we have got three people. Uh, how many other people have we got? Who's not got a job? Oh, no, that's literally it. Everybody now has a job. Everybody has a job. Splendid. Okay, well, that's good. Auto-saving, kind of a little bit of lag there again. <laughs> Still makes me very uneasy. Um, there's no quests left. You know what? Let's turn the quest list off. I imagine the quests will be... There'll be far more of them when, um, when the full game is actually released. But, yeah, we haven't got it in a minute, so we might as well turn that off. Okay, stuff is going okay. It's looking fairly good at the minute. So we're not producing that much stuff. Yeah, look, these guys are now going out here. They are planting much, much in the way of wheat, which is very, very good. That's what we want. And then we've got windmills down here. They can simply walk over there. They, in fact, if we look at that, the steps up to the windmill have got wheat outside them. So they could literally lob it in. They could cut it down and throw it through his door. Her door, whoever it is. Her door. Female one, th female one, three, two, eight. Door. Lob it through her door, and then she could get on the, the whole process of turning it into, you know, flour. And then a quick walk down the road into the baker's to make some lovely bread. So yes, I think this is probably going to work. This might well help. However, we are coming up already. Oh no, there we go. We dropped back down a little bit, but um, toward our limit where we're going to um, uh, exceed. Well, not exceed, as in reach our maximum capacity for monies. So we might as well. While we're here, buy some bread. So let's buy 10 bread. There we go. We do buy 10 bread every time, do we? Do we? Give the heck over. We never do. We never do, do we? Okay, well, I'm surprised by that. Now, Northbury. I don't think we need trade for Northbury. They sell coal and iron. We've got nothing to do with coal and iron. I guess we could sell wool and cloth, but we like wool and cloth over here. That's quite kind of useful. Buy this land. I don't think that should be there. Uh, okay, right. I don't want to do that. Let's just press a button and hope it goes away. There we go. <laughs> Splendid. It's gone away. Uh, right, okay. So berries... Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Hang on. Has there been a glut of berries recently or something? I'm not selling berries, am I? Because that's come right down. Ridiculously so. No trade. Okay, that's, that's probably a good thing. I don't want to trade berries. Why have we only got 17 of them? That's not good. 
Oh, crikey, I don't know what that's doing. <laughs> Berry table pot. Okay, right, that's some sort of weird internal mechanics going on. That's a bit strange. Yeah, berries. Why did that get so low? Okay, that does worry me. We are going to create ourselves another camp here for berries. We're also going to switch on the auto-immigration thing. We're going to switch that on. And yes, just here, let's get ourselves another gathering camp. Because there's no point in sending them to ones that are far away. These things are infinite. So we might as well just use the ones that are just here. So we'll have that. That they can gather from there. And then we'll create another gathering camp just here. Might as well spin that round. Put that one just there, perhaps. Like so. <laughs> I love the way the sheep just wander about. It's brilliant. The sheep just poodling about the village. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sheep? Um, and then can we can we cheekily kind of fit one in there? Can we just poke a gathering camp in there? I mean, do, will that work? Or is that going to be a little... Is that cutting it a little bit fine right there? Is that cutting it a bit fine? Do you know what? We could... Oh, no, there's one, there's one just there as well. There's one hiding around the corner. Um, yeah, I don't think we can fit another one in there, can we? Oh, no, we could. We certainly can. There, 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 there. Put one there. I mean, that's a little bit further toward than all the others, but it's still not that far. Okay, and then let's zoom out. Let's go over to that gathering camp. And let's assign the two people we've got. I don't think there's another person, is there? Male 95 and male 953. Both absolute fine specimens of maleness right there. They are going to go and work in there. So that's pretty good. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking okay. Resources are sort of looking okay. Bread, we do have some bread. It's already vanished. Maybe that's the bread we purchased. Possibly, yeah, that's just gone. That's gone in an instant. Okay, so yes, the happiness is coming down a bit. Bread and berries are still proving to be a problem. So food. Food is becoming the problem. Ah, look. Someone's moved in. Someone's moved in down here. Oh, happy days. Hooray. Hello. Who is it? Female 470 and Grace. The dream team indeed. Okay, right. And are they upgrading their house? They are. They're upgrading it to a level two house where they put the little bits and bobs outside, like the little chairs and tables and stuff. I imagine that'll be quickly upgraded to uh, one of the slightly fancier houses up there. Okay, that's very exciting. Okay, we've got some more people coming in. Let's just have a quick look at this. Drag that down. That helps. So when we can, um, when the uh, new people come in, they'll drop into this list and we can see that they will have no job. And then we can assign one of them to gather some berries from here. And then maybe the other one. Is there room for a farmer in there? No, there is not room for a farmer in there. Okay, so... Oh, no, in there, possibly. Ah, right. Okay, so when they join... Yeah, we'll have one as a farmer. Yeah, I think we've run out of names. I think we've exhausted the names available in Foundation right now. And um, another one in there, like so. So more berries, more wheat, because those farmers should be able to go out and plant more, more wheat and whatever and get more stuff done. So, yeah, that should help. That should help with keeping everybody not hungry and starving to death. There's another house down here. There's another house just there in between. In fact, that's a pretty good spot. If you're going to build a house, build it in between many decorative trees. And, you know, you've upped your house price right there. They've got the right idea. Have female 1419 and male 1636. They are the best. That's like the Kirsty and Phil of, um, of our foundation people right there. Uh, the, you Non-UK people would not know what that means, but Kirsty and Phil present like a sort of a home buying program thing in the UK. And um, yeah, that's a pretty good spot. That's a very good house right there because they're in a very prime location looking out over the fields. There's a lovely wood in the background. You're near all the amenities, all the local amenities. That's a very good spot right there. Okay, this is, this is going all right now. It seems to be going fine. Food is still a bit scarce. Still a little tiny bit scarce. Berries it kind of goes up and down. It's a bit confusing, berries. I don't really understand. I think there's something a bit weird going on. This is accepting berries. Uh, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn that off. I'm going to put refusing berries in there. I don't want berries to be in the warehouses. Because I think something weird happens with them. I don't really understand this. this yeah, refusing berries in that warehouse. Or accepting wood in that warehouse. Are there, are there 463 planks in that warehouse? Wow. Oh, yes, there are. Yeah, there you go. There's some. There's 460 in the warehouses and then various ones in sawmills. Okay, and eight others in another warehouse. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, look, wheat. We just don't have enough wheat. We just cannot produce enough wheat. We need probably another farm. Probably with a couple of people. Male 7 and male 850. People are joining the village. Possibly another farm would not go amiss. Maybe even over here. Using all this space. What's the ground like over there? Is it nice and... Um, is it fertile land? 
Oh, yes, it is. Beautiful. Right. Let's get ourselves another farm. Because I think that's the problem. More farms. So let's put that there. Like that. And then hopefully that is set to be a farm field anyway. Right. So drag that round like that. And then residential. No. Not in these areas. Because that's now farm territory. Let's zoom that up a bit actually. Like that. And like so. Right, so don't don't build in these areas. Don't build houses, please. We just have fields. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, farm field. We'll try and cut it up there as well. And round like that. There we go. So now we'll have, what, four farms? So we'll have three down this side and the original one up the top here. Okay, that's looking good. It's looking good. And we've got extra people, four people here, that can actually come and work in the farm, which is jolly exciting. So, okay, that's good. Also, where's our other berry thing? Uh, we'll have a couple of people in that one. So male 850 and male 962 can go and work in that one. Let's turn off the things uh, like so. Okay, right. That looks far easier. That looks far clearer. Okay, yeah, there's a few houses popping up down here now. This is good. There's one down here uh, in between the kind of sawmill and the woodcuttery place. And there's one there next to the treasury. So that's quite encouraging. That's good. And we've got quite a few tools. So hopefully, yes, someone is bringing 10 tools. So hopefully we should be able to get this farm finished and assign certainly at least two people if not three by the time this is finished maybe the other people will have arrived so as well as male seven and female one eight four something we'll be able to put some more people into the farm because i think are they all running maximum now that's got three that's got three the farm is complete so let's put a couple of people into there right so that's only got two people so when the new people join one more needs to go into the farm and then that, yeah, look, already they're planting stuff. Okay, okay, we've got this. Right, we've got more people. Let's assign a third person to that farm. Okay, good. So we now have many people. Let's clear those. More villagers are joining. Okay, this is good. I don't know how many people we've got now because it just says 11 in the corner because it must say 108. So, oh, there you go. No, 108 villagers and eight serfs. Okay. Uh, I don't know what constitutes as a serf as opposed to a villager, but it's okay. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Are the serfs like the um, the transporters and the builders and stuff? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. But okay, this is good. This is good. So we're trading. We still need some more bread. We could buy some more bread in. That might help a little bit. Let's go to the trade thing. Trading resources. Let's buy another five bread, shall we? So if we're buying uh, a bit of bread for 50, and we're, <laughs> we're buying 15 breads, what's... 15 times 50. Okay, 10 times 50 is 500. 5 times 50 is 250. So that's 750. Is that right? Oh, I don't trust my maths. Maths with Penj again, and it's never been never good. It's never correct. Is that 750 gold, possibly? So why don't we just up that a little bit to, say, there. That's 1,000 gold, I think, isn't it? Is that 1,000 gold? Yeah, I think that's about right. 20... Multiply by 50. 20 by 10 is... Oh, I, I don't know. Pro, it's probably about right. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. I'm sure there's no way we're going to run out of money. Right, we've got five people with no jobs. So let's go around now and repopulate these. So there's a gathering camp there. That needs another person in because, yeah, berries are getting low again. Berries are getting low and it's the unhappiness is creeping, creeping back up. It was kind of about 10 at some point. It's now back up to 17 again, minus 17, which is not good. So that's all populated that's populated that's got three has that got three yep okay so they've all got three that's good the one down the bottom end has got three right where do, where did we put this one is it that one there yeah okay right those three there we go so those three can have uh, that one can have three workers in that's already got three that's got three and that's got three okay okay that's looking good hopefully we can do something with the berries then obviously the more people join the more berries we're going to need Okay, the church bell is ringing. It sounds very, very cool. And I think at some point we are going to build another church. We're going to build another church. And the thing is, where do we build it? I mean, there's a good hill just here. There's a good hill. We could build a church on a hill, but there's a nice big flat bit there. Particularly if I buy that land just there. If I purchase that land, which I could probably do fairly easily, uh, will that affect my bread? Ah, whatever, whatever. There you go. It's fine. I've bought it now. <laughs> whatever. The people might starve to death, but I've got some more trees, so that's good. Yeah, if I build the church, say, here, people will start building round the church, and that'll be quite cool. I have to make sure the residential areas and stuff aren't over there. Oh, no. Don't leave you to unhappiness, villager. No. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite hard to manage this. It's quite hard to manage this, although I do feel 
that their over-reliance on berries just seem a bit extreme. They're very obsessed with berries. They love their berries to the people of Cupboard Town. Right, I'm going to turn immigration off again for a little while. Just so we, so we can get everything sort of balanced. They are building down here now. Look, there's another person just here wedged fairly, fairly closely to the uh, little stonemason camp thing and the warehouse. In fact, are they built on the warehouse? Oh, not quite. They're just on the verge of the warehouse there. So, um, yeah, they've built just there. Which is good, it's fine. They're all coming into this sort of new area, slowly but surely. Most of them have been upgraded, which is good. I'm quite happy with this bit. I think when we get a church in, if we put a giant church over here, that is going to help this bit in no end. That is going to help this bit in no end. People will spring up around here, all over the place. But yeah, it's going to be a case of, if people do spring up around there, can we provide them with enough food? Can we make sure that they are fed enough that yeah, they're not just going to starve to death or the unhappiness is going to fall to such a degree that everyone is going to leave and there'll be a mass exodus and Cupboard Town will fall from what actually looks right now like a pretty nice place. It will just fall from glory and be this sort of horrible, sort of deserted medieval ghost town. And we don't want that because I think it looks really good. I think it looks very, very good. I'd be very sad if something went wrong and everyone left. Oh no, <laughs> it started already. Don't leave. You're not allowed. You, come back. Fine, go. Or well, you might be the trader. You're allowed to leave. Oh, it's you, is it? You're the one who's leaving. Eh, well, okay. Bye-bye. I never liked you anyway. I've just noticed a button up here. Look, wall building. What does that do? Can I build walls? Oh, that would be very cool. Okay, well, I mean, this is fine. I don't think we're ever going to spread up here in this particular playthrough. How does this work? Do I click and drag? Huh? No, <laughs> it's a bit of massive wall. Oh, that's beautiful okay yeah let's do that i've got loads of stone let's just build a big wall for no reason oh my god it carries oh that's very very cool okay well let's do that for now that'll do how do i un how do i do that i don't want to do that anymore i don't want to do that anymore oh oh it literally just appears it just appears by magic uh how do i how do i build a gate <laughs> how do people get out how do people escape this walled nightmare that i've just created now because no one can get through the walls can they like, can the trader walk through? Or does he have to walk round? Oh, I'm not entirely sure. That looks very cool, though. I like that. So you can put a wall all the way around the city, or town, or settlement, or whatever it is. And, um, yeah, make it look a little, even more medievally than it is now. Okay, that's very, very good. More people building houses down here. This is very good. It's very encouraging. It's all looking okay. The Weaver Hut. The Weaver Hut looks a little bit like it's not really working at full capacity. They've had one wool in there for quite some time. And how are you doing over here? Yeah, you've only got one wool produced. So maybe we need another sheep farm. And the sheep farm can then, the second one, can then obviously provide more wool down to the weaver hut down here. I don't think we need another weaver hut. I think it's more to do with the actual sheep farm. So can we put a sheep farm in here? Where's the, um, where's the thing? Let's have a look at that. We could put a sheep farm in here because they don't actually seem to build on that as a farm land. So let's just sort of cut into that a tiny bit just there. And then, could we then make that... Oh, let's take that out of residential as well. If we're going to make that a sheep... Oh, no, but that's quite prime residential land just there. That could be a location for a house. How about we put the sheep farm over here, then? Nobody likes it over here. It's rubbish. So, yeah, if we turn that round like that, put a sheep farm behind the treasury, that could be quite nice. Let's drop a sheep farm in. Hopefully, that'll give this person here, whoever's in the weaver, a female 1090. Oh, yes, we know all about her. She's brilliant at weaving. She's well known for her weaving skills. Um, let's hope that that gives her something to do. Just a quick check of our resources. We've got around 50 berries. It keeps going sort of up and down, around 50. That's fine. 18 wheat has gone down to 11 wheat. Okay, so that must have gone into the, um, into the windmills. So we've got some flour. And we had, okay, we had 16 bread. It's kind of, that's, the bread is stabilizing. It's not going to naught. Oh, it nearly went down to naught as soon as I said that. Yeah, it's plummeting back down to naught, is it? Okay, great, brilliant. But um, no, look, that went back up to 18. There was 18 bread there at one point, so that's pretty good, isn't it? Let's make sure that all the bakers are working at full capacity, because the one thing I don't know is when people leave, I don't know where they're leaving from. They could be leaving from the bakers, and then I've obviously got bakeries with nobody in. It'll be What I would like is a building list. I'm just going to check. Is there a building list? I'm fairly sure there isn't a building list. Because then it'd be nice to say, yeah, you've got all these buildings. You've got a windmill, 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 whatever. Bakers, bakers. And they could say, nobody's in the bakers. So you go, ah, right, yes, I possibly need to go and sort that out. So let's have a look. Because people have left. People have left. And I haven't reassigned anybody to anything. 
So where have they left from? Yeah, people leaving due to unhappiness. But but how can I counter this? How can I how can I figure out what's happening? Hang on, hang on. Right, pause. I'm gonna have to go through and check all of our buildings and just see who has left and what vacancies they have left in their things. I look like that. Look, closed market. We need to assign a person to work there. Yes, it's this kind of stuff. So yeah, we need to go through and make sure that we've just got everybody working. So I've been through all of the production-based buildings that need people to work there, and I couldn't really find anything. The only thing I could find was one of these gather a little sort of hut things down here. I only had one person in, so I assigned a couple of people to that. Other than that, everything seemed fine. Everything seemed okay, which makes me a little bit dubious. It makes me a bit suspicious that I probably missed something really obvious. Did I check those buildings? Yes, I did. Did I check all the farms? That's got three. That's got three. Yeah, that's got three as well. Okay, that's fine. Oh, well, let's have a look then. How's the sheep farm coming along? Okay, the sheep farm is coming along quite nicely, actually. That's okay. So it needs some stone and some tools. Yeah, we've got loads of tools going and absolutely... Oh, oh, hang on. Where's all the stone gone? Oh, did the stone all go into building this? Did, did, did all the stone go into building that? Because if I want to build a church next time out, that's probably going to be a problem, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, no, it's my trading thing, isn't it? It's my trading thing. Uh, yeah, don't do that. No trade. Don't sell the stone. Keep all the stone. Be selfish with stone, please. Uh, yeah. Or, ah, or was it this wall? Did that wall actually cost me stone? I didn't check at the time. Let's assign another person to that. Male 810. He's very good at cutting stone. We all know that, obviously. So, yeah, eventually, at some point, we are going to want to build a big church. And I think that's what we might do, you know, next time out. Because I think we're doing all right at the minute. I want to get this done. I want to get the sheep farm in. So at the minute they are bringing some stone. Okay, yeah, so we need to get some stone in. Let's just hurry this along. Let's get the sheep farm done. Yeah, so you're doing a little bit more work. Still find it a bit weird where it says you're using stone and wooden things you're putting out the ground, but okie dokie, bring another three stone. Right, let's get the sheep farm finished. Well done, Kunigunde. Well done, you indeed. Right, the sheep farm will be finished momentarily. They're working on it, frantically hitting it with a hammer. Well, frantically sort of waving the hammer in the air, but that's fine. That's how this sort of thing works. Right, assign a person. Oh, no. <laughs> There's nobody to assign to it. Okay, what have we got loads of? Planks. We've got absolutely loads of planks. Let's drop Anna out of there. So Anders no longer need to work in the plank factory. She can come here and work with some sheep instead. And then let's spawn a sheep. And let's spawn another sheep. And another one. And another one. Come on. Don't abuse. Okay, I want one more. Thank you. Right. So we've got five sheep in there. The sheep, yeah, just sort of roam around. They're not contained within this pen anyway. Anna is doing absolutely nothing to make sure that they're... Um, that you know the, the sheep are staying indoors and the sheep's welfare she's just sat inside the sheep are roaming around we've got that weird message again there about cannot gather something something extraction is it because that tree is kind of considered that it's inside oh no it's not an extraction thing maybe we need to take that off off of extraction let's undo that shall we let's take that out from extraction i hope that error message does not keep coming up yeah, swipe that out the way. Lovely. I've noticed that we have reached 1500 gold already. So why don't we just, as the final act of this video, because I think we're nearly done, why don't we just add another treasury bit there? And can we raise that one up? Yeah, okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's have a taller treasury bit there. I don't know what, what that actually is called. Treasury tower? That sounds quite good, doesn't it? A treasury tower. So that'll add another thing on. Add 1200 to village treasury capacity uh okay why is that is that because it's taller because that thing is taller i'm not entirely sure and then let's fit one uh can we have one at the back like a tower at the back that might look quite good uh okay it's not the most central of things but you know what i'm not that bothered uh yeah that'll do that'll do and then have a oh okay that won't do there 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 there, there. yes and then raise uh, it doesn't like the angle i'm looking at it at. and then oh now there's an auto save kicking in uh, then get that and re and raise that up so it's like that. Yeah, that looks quite good. I like that. Does that have any difference though? Yeah, look, the, the taller that is, so that adds 2,000 to the village treasury capacity. What, that one bit? Okay, well, that's probably worth doing then, isn't it? Yes, start construction of that, please. Let's make a few changes to our... Uh, it says Lord Manor, but it's not really Lord Manor. It's the new treasury. So, um, yeah, let's make a few changes to the treasury and then we'll call it a day, I think. I just switched immigration on for a second there because it was on one day. So we waited for one day and we're going to get two new people. And I'm going to assign those two new people 
to uh, a sort of uh, whatever these are, whatever they're called now, sort of uh, stonecutter camp. Because we are a bit short. Ah, stonecutter camp. Nobody lives there. Nobody works there even. That's possibly why our stone levels are so low. Because there's no one down here cutting stone. What are other ones like? You've got two people. And you've got three people. So we've got five stone cutters. Yes, that probably explains then why why we're a bit low on stone. Because this one down here is producing entirely nothing. I must have not checked that building. I must have not checked this. When I checked all the other ones, this one was probably hidden behind that house or something. That's my reasoning. It's not my own ineptness. No, no, no. There was, a, there was some other logical reason for it. I promise. Okay, curiously enough, I just had my first crash with foundation the whole thing just bombed out to the desktop so we're kind of back here again look with this so um yeah i think i kind of need to go into edit that but i can't ah there we go so yes i made that just a bit bigger didn't i there we go right start construction of that again which is a shame because it's you know it was almost pretty much finished and then i need to do this switch on the immigration get a couple of people to come and work here because no one works in there and hopefully it won't crash this time in fact, while I wait for more people to join and provide more stone, what I could do is take people out of sawmills. Now, there's only one person in that sawmill. Where are the other sawmills? There's quite a few up here, aren't there? Yeah, so we don't need that many people. So let's take you out and you out and then you... Oh, no, you can stay in there. There's only one in there. So that gives us a couple of extra people immediately. So you two can go into there. So Baptiste and female 1335 can go and do some stone cutting. And then when the new people arrive... They can do that. So both of them can come down here. That's very good. Why are you leaving due to unhappiness? What is the problem? Bread and berries as always. But okay, no, that's fine. Is that a house? Is that a house going up there? Ah, yes, they did build a house behind there actually, didn't they? Okay, that's absolutely fine. Right. So are they getting on with this? Are they getting on with this? And is the game going to crash again? So we should now have some more stone being produced. We've got four people down here at this camp. So that's pretty good. They need some stone, not a lot actually. Not a lot of stone actually. So yes, they should have that. Tools we got, because we need 16 and we've got 16, which is quite appropriate. And we've got absolutely loads of planks. We've got so many planks. So this should be finished fairly soon, I would have thought. Right, so all that this needs now is 10 planks. That is it. I do like the fact that the sheep get very near. It looks as they're trying to help. They sort of poke their little sheepy noses in. Okay, one tower is done. That's good. Now it's just the big tower at the back. 10 planks. I mean, yeah, they've obviously got the stone somewhere else now. It's only reserved. That's fine. So there you go. 10 planks should be on their way very soon. The sheep can obviously have a little nosy and see if they can help. 10 planks have gone in and this should be finished. Okay, yep. It's taking a little while. It's quite a big building, I guess. And there we go. The Lord Manor is complete and that has upped our capacity by 1,200. Just on those two extra towers, so the height of the tower does depend on, uh, does dictate, sorry, how much extra gold we can have. So I assume, I assume literally they just fill it with gold. They just fill it with gold. It's like Scrooge McDuck's big sort of vault thing. That thing is just full of gold. You can go swimming and paddling or whatever in there with gold. Yeah, the minute, I kind of, you know, a, a shallow, a shallow swim perhaps. And then eventually when it's full, yeah, it should be proper swimming around in there. But okay, that's good. We've got ourselves a treasury. And it looks okay, actually, the treasury. It looks quite impressive, I think. Look, if we look at that, that's quite a good treasury right there. I like that. That's good. And it's got people building houses around it. This person is upgrading their house. And that's pretty good. Okay, I think we call it quits for now. And I think we've got one part left. I think we've got one more thing that I want to do in foundation the city seems to be relatively content yeah, a little bit of uh, annoyance with berries and bread still but i think it needs a church but not any church no it needs a really massive church you could even go as far as as far to say it's a cathedral i think we put a gigantic massive church structure over that side we've got the one in here which is blue so I think over here, we pick red theme, whatever that is, and build a gigantic church over here with loads of bits, like maybe multiple towers, like four towers and loads of bits in the middle and gargles and these round things where they were and extensions and those, whatever they were, arc cores or whatever they were called. Loads of those as well. I think we put one of those over here and it should be the crowning glory of, of Cupboard Town. And then I think we're done. So I don't think there's much else left for us to do in Foundation. It's now just more of a case of carrying on and maintaining the status quo for a bit you know we could switch the immigration back on and we'd get some more people and we'd build another center but you kind of get the idea with that 
but I think one gigantic mega building, a gigantic mega structure, will actually be very, very good. And um, yeah, one thing I would like, I might recommend this to the devs, when it says one villager is leaving due to unhappiness, I would like to be able to click on them to then see exactly what their issue was. Like, was it a lack of berries? Was it a lack of bread? Was it a lack of religion? I don't know. I don't know because it doesn't actually tell me. Like, can we click on you? Are you happy? Are you happy? Clothes and bread is your issue. Clothes. Oh, okay, right, fine. Well, we have tried to sort that out. Uh, oh, no. But the weaver has left. Oh, no. Okay, female 1090 has departed. Oh, dear me. Right, well, there you go. There's something we'll have to sort out next time. But speaking of next time, that is it for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe to keep up to date with the antics going on here in Cupboard Town. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. You can be the last accounting office. City tax offices. Boo, tax man. Yeah, you look busy. Is it a quiet day at Bedrock Insurance, is it? Is he going to use the stairs or is he going to be a lazy beggar? Yeah, you lazy ass. And all the lights are on. And I noticed that everyone has left their lights on. I'm paying for this electricity, you gets.